Hello Geminis, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of February 16th to the 22nd. Now, um, the good news is you're going to have a financial windfall, so money is looking good. Money is not going to be a problem. Um, towards the end of the week, you actually have more than enough at your disposal and you're actually given out to other people. You're actually going to be able to basically dispense um, money, advice, you know, anything um, to other people and you're actually going to be at your best when you do this so the weekend is going to be great okay the rest of the week though um, there are some bad news and this is basically regarding um, for some of you this might be a situation in which um, you're dealing with somebody another a fellow air sign you're dealing with an, a fellow air sign who might not be um, completely honest and all of this is coming up you know it's coming to light by um, let's see Thursday and Friday all of this information will come to light so I wouldn't worry much if you are you know if you're dealing with someone who's dishonest I, I feel that you know it all along but um this time they're actually you know being called out on it and information is coming to light in which who it's actually a, a situation that's detrimental to them okay so that's for some of you for those of you who have been telling white lies or you know just little lies here and there they're quickly catching up to you so um, depending on what category you fall into I think it's a good time to cover your tracks okay um, you know with the king of swords coming in out in the f first card and also in the um, at the beginning of the reading is usually indicative of the sign that I'm reading for and I'm reading for Gemini so um, I would say you know depending on which camp you fall under just be really careful about covering your your tracks and so we don't end up in this situation okay so um, if others have been dishonest, things will be exposed. If you haven't been honest, I just feel that um, this energy right here is going to be problematic for you the second half of the week, okay? So um, just be careful about that and for... Okay, so um, in a work situation, for those of you who are in Camp B where you haven't been completely honest, I feel that it's going to interfere with your work. I mean, the situation is going to play out like this, okay? So your credibility is basically shot. Your credibility in your work environment, also in your romance and love and interpersonal uh, relationships department, your credibility is shot at this point and it's going to take a grand gesture for you to gain back your credibility and um, I don't see this situation resolving this week okay so um, in terms of you know rebuilding your credibility and rebuilding that trust and things like that um, for those of you who who have been in situations where someone has um, deceived you or someone is just you know uh, dishonest or unfaithful or something like that in any type of a situation um, work or romance I just feel that um, the information itself uh, it, it's almost as if you've known it all along and now you're moving on from it which is a great thing to do you know and that's where um, I see this abundance coming in and if you're in camp B you know the other person will move from you okay the other person will move forward from you so um, I, I just feel this is a situation in which you're dealing with a fellow air sign so regardless of what camp you fall under you're going to be dealing with an air sign a fellow air sign and they are after the truth and they will not let up so it's going to be pretty frustrating when you're dealing with this type of energy in the middle of the week um, as for you know if you're in camp A and someone has deceived you it's um it's a situation in which you know you you kind of have an inkling about it you kind of um, in the back of your mind you know that this is how it's going to play out and yet you let it play out so that new relationship that new work project or any type of newness you're hoping from this type of partnership is not going to happen and it's going to end up with somebody walking the other way you know you or the other person but um in the process just know that 
you know, things needed to be revealed and you move on past it, okay? Um, for those who have been, you know, deceiving people, it's like I, I said, it's going to take a grand gesture for you to gain back their trust, their confidence, and, you know, to, to rebuild your credibility. So it's going to take a grand gesture on your part, and it's going to be a very humbling experience for you, okay? So either way, it's in the spirit of growth, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. Proceed through the week, and, um, you know, also let me know how this plays out in your life, okay? Let me know what camp you fall under and how this plays out through this week. Um, so, um, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe, and um, have a good weekend. I'll see you next week. Thanks.